Just ask me how not to lie sleeping. Don't ask me how to awaken the potential. The potential does not have any habit of sleeping. You forcefully put it to sleep. Intelligence is not habituated to lying dormant. You habitually put it to sleep by acts like these. And then you ask, why is life so miserable? Why is my potential lying unutilized? Because you are hellbent upon living a stupid life. You are asking me, what do I need to do to awaken my potential? I am saying, don't do anything. You are already doing too much. In fact, stop doing what you are doing right now. Once you stop doing, you find that the potential, that that intelligence starts expressing itself. Stop doing that you are doing so much. Even at this moment, there are two kinds of people over here. One, who are not doing anything, who are just sitting and letting the listening happen. And second, who are doing a lot. And what would that doing mean? That would mean fidgeting with the pen, that would mean thinking a lot. Who do you think is understanding me? Those who are doing a lot or those who are not doing anything? Who is understanding me? So those who are not doing anything. So don't ask me, what do I need to do to awaken my potential? You don't need to do anything extra. In fact, stop doing all that you keep doing. Stop doing that. Your energy is being dissipated in a thousand miscellaneous acts. Stop doing them. And then you will find that there is a great and beautiful channelization. Lovely flow. And then you will know what does it mean to be young. Then you will know what does it mean to be young. Not this kind of random movement like this going on in our minds. This way, that way, this thought, that thought. Hmm? Look at your thoughts and actions from morning till evening and see what you are doing, where your time and energy are going and then you will realize. You don't need to actually read great books. It's far easier than that, far closer than that. Observe your own life. Hmm? What do I do from morning till evening? What do I do from morning till evening? We have our friend sitting here and it pleases my heart, it warms my heart to see that he doesn't belong to this section but he is still here. But then there is something from time, past, memory which reminds me that our friend is the same fellow whom I had to scold in the last of our and ask him to sit right in the front bench. Yeah, it would have been absolutely great had he come here on his own accord but he hasn't. Yes, he is here because he is short from attendance. This is not a crime. This is not a crime. It is good that he is still here. What would have been so wonderful had he been here on his own accord? And there have been cases where people have attended Sambhad even though they belong to, belong to different sections. And see how domesticated he looks right now. And you remember the last Sambhad? When you were like an uncontrollable beast over there and I had to pull you and make you sit here. Though he was very nice after that, he also raised a question, didn't you? I don't know this. What we do our entire day, just see what it comprises of. When there is pressure, we succumb. And what is the pressure? Attendance. When there is no pressure, then we behave in the most glorious manner possible. Like in the last supper. Just observe your own actions and thoughts and see what you are doing. Please, you don't need to do anything extra. Observe what you are anyway doing. And that is sufficient. And that is sufficient. Even at that, this moment, find out what you are doing and that is sufficient. You don't need to take pains and extra steps. Hmm? 